Join me in creating some elixir blends to nourish the mind, body, and spirit. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about one of our most popular blends, Kickstart. Kickstart is a favorite at Harmonic Arts. In fact, it has a bit of a cult following. Now, being a coffee substitute, people who like it really like it. And it has a nice flavor, but you know, I remember one time we ran out of an ingredient that's in it, the Ramon nut, which is one of the main ingredients and it's really hard to find. It has a nice roasted flavor. When we ran out of this for about a month, we got more phone calls and emails than we have ever before just on, when is Kickstarter gonna be back? You're gonna make me start drinking coffee again! Anyway, that has been resolved. We now have lots of Ramon nut. But I'd like to tell you a little more about this. As the name says, Kickstart gets you going. It's a bit of that circulatory stimulant, energy upgrade, but also that kind of blissful, let's get things moving. But it's not like coffee in the sense that it doesn't have a whole bunch of oxidative reactions in the body and it doesn't impair the liver the same way. The main stimulants in it are a little bit of yerba mate and a little bit of guarana seed. Now these also will increase the energy but give you more mineral content and slight digestive function at the same time. It's also got sarsaparilla in it, which is a nice root beer type herb that is an adaptogen that helps work with stress and modulate the system that way. Ramon nut has a really robust roasted flavor and it's a nice addition to this blend. One of the main ingredients is chaga. Now chaga has that immune modulating function and that antioxidant potential. It's got a really robust flavor as well. Just a nice rich kind of vanilla almost flavor. Now two other important ingredients that are in this blend are raw cacao and maca. Now cacao has that anandamide, that bliss type chemical. It's also got a really nice antioxidant potential, it's high in magnesium, and it's just great full of other phytonutrients. Nice addition to this blend. And maca gives you that extra energy boost giving you more stamina, helping to work with the adrenal function, and just stabilize hormones in general. All of this together makes Kickstart the perfect morning drink, or afternoon, or pre-evening. You decide. Today we're gonna make an elixir with this. Now you can just brew this up with hot water, give it a stir, it's perfect that way. But in this sense, I wanna give myself a lot more nourishment for the whole day, so I'm gonna add in a bit of honey, and a little bit of coconut oil. These both give me a calorie content and slow down the absorption. As well, as I'm gonna put it into a base of chaga tea. Now, I like to use chaga tea as a base for drinks like this because it has a nice robust flavor and I know it's gonna give me that antioxidant immunomodulant potential. To make our elixir with Kickstarter, we're gonna start with the chaga tea. Now, I've had that brewing for the last 20 minutes, so it's perfect and ready to go. Put it on this hot plate here, like so. Ah. Nice batch of chaga tea. We're also gonna need a strainer to filter out the chaga. I'll just leave that set like this while I get my other ingredients ready in the blender. Now I've got Kickstart right here. I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of this, or three spoonfuls. Two, three, or a little bit more for good measure. With that, I'm gonna go for one scoop of honey. Now you can sweeten this as much as you want, in fact, I often drink Kickstart without any sweetener at all. It's perfect that way. We're also gonna add in a little bit of coconut oil. Same kind of proportions, maybe a tablespoon. Now you notice I'm using an ice cream scooper. It's really just because it's easier to get that coconut out. Now that we've got everything in here, we're gonna add the chocolate tea. This should make enough for two to three people. Whenever we're starting with the blend, we wanna make sure we have it on low to begin with. That way it doesn't splash up and we get all kinds of steam rising and make a mess. But as it's going, we can increase that speed. There's something magic that happens when you add in a little bit of coconut oil into tea. It makes this nice brothy froth. In this case, we've got a nice frothy head and it just blends well and tastes great. All right, are you ready to try? I know I am. Mmm, I've been waiting for this all day. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, perfect cup of kickstart. Thanks for joining me. I think I'll be off.